Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to stream your Xbox One console to an Android device. Now, before we continue any further, please make sure that your Xbox One console is fully updated. Otherwise, the steps I'll be showing you how to get this done might be different for you and it might get a little confusing. The other thing to keep in mind is that in order to stream your Xbox One to your Android device, your Android device must have an Xbox controller synced to it. So that means if you only have one controller and it's synced to your Xbox One console, well, throughout this video, I'll show you how to sync it over to your Android device so you can stream to your uh, tablet or cell phone. Uh, with getting started, what you want to do is hit the Xbox logo button on your controller, which will give you a little pop-up menu. Then you want to scroll down on the main page to settings. From here, you want to scroll down to devices and connections. And again, if you're not fully updated, this is the screen that will look different for you. So please make sure your Xbox One is fully updated. From here, you want to hit remote features and make sure enable remote features is checked. If yours is not checked and then you check the box the first time ever, it'll go through kind of like a testing phase. Uh, so just be patient, let it go through that process. It might tell you that you have a accessory update for your controller to do. That's completely normal, just go ahead and accept it. So again, make sure enable remote features is checked and also go to Xbox app preferences and make sure that allow connections from any device is checked on and that also allow play to stream and uh, other devices is also checked. At this point, now we're gonna switch over to your Android device. So in order to sync your Xbox One controller to your Android device, there's a catch here because Microsoft made things rather confusing because they released multiple versions of the Xbox One console. So we'll need to ensure that your Xbox One controller has Bluetooth capability. In order to do that, I'm gonna put up this picture for your reference. What we need to do is basically ensure that the faceplate, uh, the material surrounding the Xbox One logo on the controller is the same all around for the rest of the faceplate. If the material around the Xbox One button is different from the rest of the material of the faceplate, it's not going to work for you. So again, just reference the picture here for easy reference. If everything looks good to go while your Xbox controller is on, you want to ensure that you press and hold the sync button on the top of the controller for about three seconds and your Xbox logo on the controller will start to flash. That means it's now ready to sync into pairing mode. So at this point, I'm going to be showing how to get this done on my Samsung device because it is the most popular Android manufacturer in the world. Um, the main system settings menu might look a little bit different depending on your manufacturer of Android, but the, the steps are relatively the same, so you can still follow along. So from the main system settings menu of your Android device, whether it be a phone, tablet, or whatever, you want to tap on connections, then Bluetooth, and make sure Bluetooth is turned on and open up Bluetooth itself. And then you're going to look, basically look for what's scanning, what's available to see and connect to as a device until eventually Xbox wireless controller is there as an option. Tap on it and it should pair within a few seconds. Pretty much from this point, if you want to test if it's working okay, you should be able to navigate your main system settings menu with the Xbox controller. I'm actually doing it right now. And what you want to do now is ensure that you have the Xbox mobile app installed on your device. I'll put a link to the Xbox mobile app in the video description from the Play Store. Do keep in mind that Microsoft has a bad habit of changing which app is gonna sync over. Uh, they tend to change the name every couple of years. So uh, if this video description needs some updating, just let me know and I can update the link. Okay, so after you open up the Xbox One app, what I wanna do is hit the little three icons at the bottom right uh, symbol, uh, which will basically give you uh, options to select your library. Um, if you notice a warning message here like I do in captures, don't worry about it. That's not what we're focusing on right now. What we're going to do is tap on consoles. You should be able to see your Xbox One console here. Uh, make sure it is available. If not, then something in your Xbox One streaming options on the console itself didn't go right. Tap on it and it'll basically give you the options that uh, are available. And you want to make sure you select remote play on this device. Then you get a warning prompt saying, hey, it's best to use 5 gigahertz of network connection uh, on your mobile device and just simply hit continue. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing more to it. We are now streaming my Xbox console just to ensure that you are aware. Here's my Android notification. I'm going to swipe down. I don't want to show you my notifications too much, but there you go. Uh, it's working flawlessly. Almost no lag. Again, I have a good connection, mind you, uh, so your experience might differ. Now, if you have one controller, like I mentioned earlier, and it's now synced to your Android device, there is a way to sync it back to your Xbox pretty easy. What you're going to do is ensure that your Xbox console is on. Ensure that your Xbox One controller is also on and on the console you want to press and hold the sync button for about three seconds. It's a tiny little button at the console. Then go back to your controller and press and hold the sync button on the top of the controller for about three seconds as well and they should pair automatically. So that's pretty much it for me. If you found this video useful be sure to check out the written guide in case you need it which has a link to my website in the video description as well as my social links also in the video description. Hit the like button, subscribe and thanks for watching.